Hello, howdy, folks. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. Uh, we're off. We gotta get to Hagaboos. Claim our payment for the massive amount of fighting we've been doing for this Noble War. I mean, let's see. How do, how do I say this? The Noble War has made us a very rich company. Not from the money they pay us, though, but mostly just because we've just been massacring lots and lots of noble soldiers, but I guess the soldiers themselves aren't very noble, but you know what I mean. Professional soldiers, I suppose, is the best way to put it. And wearing their stuff. It's gonna catapult us into the next... Into the next... Crisis, I guess is the word? Yeah. There's our payment, finally, a job well done. Anything in the marketplace? We really need ammo. Let's just... Let's just buy it before something silly happens. Sell prices here, not so good. Wild man for 850? Uh, why not? Why not? Nope. Not happening. We don't need more range brothers. We're set on range brothers. Contract? Brigands! Thugs are preparing for a massive assault on our village. We must do something. 1700 crowns that seems like it's a little beneath us at this at this stage so let's let's just continue on to assisted no one's be talking ah there we go it's over it's over the unbeholden needs their commander yes the noble war is finally settled over isn't it yes everything's gone back to normal sure we've I'd like to say we made a lot of friends along the way but as far as the reputation goes, um, not the best. But you know what this means now? Now we're free to um, to go back to adventuring. Really, we're free to adventure. I'm act I'm really looking forward to that. Honestly, I was, I was, the crises in this game they're fun, but it's nice that they end. They tend to end right when you're getting really sick of them. Vagabond militia, shepherd. Hunters, apprentices. That's pretty cheap for a militia, and we've had good luck with militias in the past. Why don't we just grab him, see if he's any decent. He's a bleeder, and he's hesitant, and he's got stars in all the wrong places. It's pretty good starting melee skill. Not bad melee defense either. But, uh, I don't know, he's just... I want something to jump out at us if we're going to be paying him money to be in the company. And we can afford to be picky by now. All our, our, bro, our bros are great. That's another thing. We're going to be able to start training our brothers again in the back line. Looking at Ozpin and Lenny and Sir Chubrak. Tavern. Dead people. Mm -hmm. We had a round, I think, last episode. I don't want to get drunk. Hmm. Looks like not a lot of action over here in Assisted. Do they have tools at the market? Yeah, good prices too. Anything else at the market? No. Sell prices are great. Let's offload. Before I forget, We'll just hold on to two great swords for now. You don't need any of this other stuff, though. We'll hold on to these heater shields, because if we start fighting orcs, they're going to be blasting through our heater shields, and we're going to need replacements. More Zweihander helmets. Oh, those are our backups for probably new bros. That's, these are great new bro helmets. Let's just sell... We don't need this many reinforced halberds. We don't, I don't think we need the decayed coat of plates now either. Because now that we have... I think we actually have an extra suit of... Decent plate there. In fact, we have two coat of scales too, so we don't... We're going to start phasing out these halberds, I think. This great helm is going to sell for a lot of money. Let's just keep fixing it.
Ok. Despicable brigands stole my ceremonial stat. 900 crowns? No. Just no. We're not. We're not doing that. We need. We need something to test our our band here. What can we do? We can go. I think that Marauders Camp is a little nasty. There's orcs up there. I kind of would want. I kind of like the idea of going and just looking for trouble out in the countryside. Then again, I also like the idea of leveling up our our backups here. Reeve, I want to get Reeve going. I want to get a lot of, of these brothers training. Undead is not a really good spot to train them on. Although, actually, maybe it is. Or maybe not. I don't want to sit around hesitating for too long. Look at these, all these armies getting along together. Oh, it's nice. After brutally massacring each other, their families, their children, their dogs, the cat, every now and then as well. It's always good to see everyone getting along. Can we at least see what's in the tomb? We don't get, we don't get to, do we? I don't want to go in there and find out there's guys when then we have a bunch of trainees that are running around everywhere. Let's just go to Schnellen. We'll visit the towns that we haven't been able to visit in a while, looking for work. People are afraid. Northeast, yeah, we, we passed it on the way in. Oh, wow, you're telling us the same thing. Cool. Scramasax. Uh, no. Let's take a look at this job. Goblins? Oh, crap. Northeast of Mirwick. That's a lot of money to fight goblins. That is a lot of money to fight goblins. And I haven't fought goblins in a while. Like, I don't want to... Oh, man. Let's just take a look at where Mirwick is before we take this job. Mirwick, since this faction owns every single settlement on the map now, I'm not sure... It's over here. So it's probably going to be across the water. That's kind of annoying that a lot of the unexplored territory is so difficult. That, I mean, it's, we have to cross water and then mountains to get out there. That's going to make things extremely difficult to adventure because of the food situation. I'm not, I'm really not a fan of that. This map seed is giving us great items, but damn, it is very, very not good in every other way. What about this contract? Grave robbers plundering the cemetery. Tomb of the Mad King for that kind of money. It's you know it's close by, and if it's grave robbers, let's let's go over there and do it. We'll have all of our new bros in there. If it turns out to be undead, they're still giving us a pretty good price. So this this seems like an ideal trading. Let's get Reeve in there instead of Horace. Let's get. I'm gonna keep the banner just in case. Ozpin. And Apollo can replace, or uh, Iggy can replace Bane. On Cohen still needs a level. Vorander. Let's replace Vorander with Ch Sir Chubrak, right in the middle. Chubrak could actually use an upgrade, can't he? Does he not have, no, he doesn't have, poor guy doesn't have Brawny yet. So the scale should do him pretty good. Oh. Should have kept one of those noble swords for him. Well, no matter. He'll be all right. Let's get in there. Let's get some practice. Thick miasma. Oh, no, it's the dead. Damn it. Ugh. Well. Is it just zombies? 25 zombies, maybe? My, oh, my. Has it been a while since we fought zombies? We are going to want to charge straight ahead and take the high ground. 
Bobbins. Looks like a lot of zombies. Let's see. One, two, three. I didn't see any of them go before us, which means no geists. So it's almost exclusively zombies. Let's just charge in there. Oh, yeah. Definitely lots of zombies. I don't think they can get this far, can they? Oh, who cares? We're gonna be fine. Yeah, the zombies are pretty slow. Song right here in the middle is fine. Looks like two rack would be great right here, because you know this many zombies are definitely going to be washing around us. So Sir Two Brack can hold the line, get some kills that way. This is no problem for the unbeholden. We are going to need to do a lot of chopping though. Kind of makes me wish Vorander, because I think he's got that trait that. Um, fatality is everything, which is really good for zombies. Hickey. Let's just get Iggy moving up here. That's a lot of zombies down here. Iggy has melee defense, doesn't he? 14 and the high ground? Why don't we have him here? We'll get Apollo definitely on the high ground. And then Ozpin will have quite a cushion to work with. Start shooting people with Ozpin. He doesn't have the fatigue for this. He's going to run out of fatigue long before the zombies are dead. All right, here they come, sorta. Oh, he's trying to get him with the teeth. What, what little teeth he has remaining, anyway. Let's just wait. Let's wait until we are so completely surrounded before we start swinging with the weapons. Apollo, I think we do more damage if we shoot down on stuff. So let's just do that. Husband Kane, yep, we're blasting through that fatigue. Should have brought a long axe. Oh well. Reeve, let's get in here. Who can we start hurting? 86. Very good. Song, definitely good for her. This is a lot of zombies. Dando, just keep waiting. Boy, we've been doing the Noble War for so long, you forget there's just other things in the game. But I'm happy we did it first. The amount of gear we have is amazing. So Chubrak putting out some damage. 93, 83, let's go with that 93. Okay, it's time to start clearing out uh, a path here. How about a swing? Yep. Iggy, I want to make sure we're always trimming these guys so that they're not going to swarm around us. Bobbins, split. Oh, we missed one. Mortimer, 93. Takes one down. Dando's still waiting. Okay. This one gets back up. Can we put him back down, Iggy? Yes, we can. Starting to get those confident flags. Very good. <laughs> the zombies that make the most adorable noises. Let's get Apollo one step over here. 
I don't know, just shoot zombies. Ozpin, another reload. Another one down. I hope in the, um, really, really, Dando, you're standing right next to Song. And you, and you pull this on us? Really? Do you have Berserk with... No, we don't. It's just... Really, really, Dando. He's, he's testing us. That's what he's doing. He's being a bit of a pill. Reeve, 82, 77, 87. Let's go for the high numbers. Puts one down. Mortimer, 93, puts another one down, Bobbins, just go for that single attack. Good, more step right up to the plate. Night Warden, gotta make sure we're trimming these edges, we, we do not want them to wrap any further than they are now. Sir Chubrek, this one's pretty roughed up. How about a split here, Markham, nice. Overhead, nice. Von Cohen is ready for a swing. Yep. Overhead, hell yep. Dando misses. Dando's he's he's really trolling song right now. Is is what he clearly trying to do. Lots of zombies coming back. What do you think the next crisis will be? More zombies? Orcs? Iggy, why don't we save that one for Sir Choop? No, let's. We gotta take the kills so that the rest come in on them. Yeah. Apollo? This one's. Wow. The company must be drunk from the tavern and just screwing around during this fight. I think that's the first time we've been hit. Spin, move it along. There's a 72. Another one dead. Let's just fight the edge there. Screw Dando. Song's not even going to bother with him. Reeve, 87, 82, 92. Split with Bobbins. Nice. Two kills. Overhead. Another one down. Night Lord. Which one can Sir Chubrek take on? Wow, these are all fresh zombies. Hmm? Let's go for that mace. I don't like zombies with maces. Markham, split. Nice. Two more. I think it's time for Von Cohen to take a breather. I'm pretty sure we're at the end of this round. More zombie. Iggy, 95, 95. Let's go after him with the mace. Apollo, why don't we kill that one? And look at that, Dando goes straight to confident. What a jerk. Apollo takes him down too. Song, another one. Let's get Dando over here. If any of these come back, Dando can still kill them. Reeve, another one. Ozpin does not have the fatigue to fire anymore. Mortimer, 85, 85. Word takes another one down, Von Cohen. Let's just get in there. 
Bobbins, breather. So Chubrak. Beckham needs a breather. Okay, next turn. You know, it's zombies. There's just kind of spam our attacks and then it's over. Iggy, 95, 95. Iggy gets one. Step in with bobbins. Put that one down. Ooh. Nikki's actually taking damage over there. Markham. One hit. Just more arrows from Apollo. Let's get down here with Song and try and get this one off Iggy. Miss from Reeve. Dando. Kills it. Ozpin. Let's try and get that one. And Cohen kills him. Steps in. Night Warden. So Chewbrack's getting tired now. Let's keep trying to kill this one. There we go. Dando puts that one down. Let's oh, kill that one. Song's just hanging out. How's Pin King? Looks like we have enough to reload and take a fire. There we go. Hello, just wait. Mark him and kill. Mortimer needs a breather. Night word, breather. Sir Chubrak. You can't breathe. Looks like we're gonna have to probably endure another round of zombie going up. Maybe not. Very nice. Iggy, get some. There we go. Ozpin Kane and Iggy both gain levels. Excellent. And we got a bunch of junk. The days of making a, a massive killing on battles is coming to a close till we fight orcs. Iggy, plus three, plus three. Very nice. And a plus four on the fatigue. Ooh. Iggy's got a couple more levels. He might just, he might just make it. Maybe. Still not, still not too sure. Iggy's always been just kind of on the back burner, the poor guy. What do we do with him? Um, he's got the basics. I guess we can just continue with the basics. Ozpin Caden, plus four, plus three. Plus two on that fatigue is really bad. That's really bad. It's terrible. I think we might just go with the health because it's a good roll and I like our ranger bros to have lots of health. I don't like that. But uh, we're going to take Steel Brown because gotta have it. With these kind of stats we could probably train him even in battles against just bandits. Because he's got a crossbow. It's really hard to miss when you have a crossbow. The range defense, although he needs anticipation first, we'll probably wait for that before we start making those decisions. Let's head down to Schnellen. We need nets. So, hopefully we get to somewhere that has nets. No longer has terrified villagers. Oh, very nice. Aren't we, aren't we just, aren't we just so nice? Let's buy some food. Let's get some bandages. I think I think some of our guys need bandages. Let's just sell this crap. I don't want to. Just I don't want to deal with it. Really. It's just junk. The hand axe it sells very well, so we'll keep that on, around. Militia spears. Don't think so. Mortimer. Uh, let's get you. Well. Hmm. Maybe we didn't need a bandage. I thought we did. Well, we really
really need are just doggos. I guess we could just put a bandage on someone for now. I'm not paying a thousand for uh, militia. Let's start heading south. We're just going to new villages, check things out. 14 brigands, some marksmen, many raiders. There's some thugs, mar a few marksmen. Some marksmen, many raiders. I kind of want to fight these guys for that practice. Ozpin has enough health and armor to... I don't, he can't get Alfred off the field. Neither can Iggy or Reeve. Reeve's wearing some pretty heavy armor. Of course, our counter fire is not much. I would drop Song, but she still needs the experience. We can tighten up our line. If we have Markham sit out. Get bait in there. Something like that. Let's go after him. We got him. Some marksmen, many raiders. I think maybe we'll just do some training this episode. Good, they don't have the crossbow versions at least. Let's wait, see what they do. Take the high ground and shoot us. Of course. I swear, marksmen are... They just seem a little overtuned to me. Um, look at that. We're gonna have to move up on them. I would like the high ground to shoot back, but I guess this will have to do. 32, 32. Nothing. 12%. Wow. Okay. Everyone else is obviously going to approach. I'll just have hmm. Sometimes the hex grid system is a little nasty to us. Bane? Of course we're in X range now. God, it's so easy to under underestimate the raiders. I always forget that they pull out all this crap and just hurl garbage at you until someone inevitably gets in trouble. Mm -hmm. So it begins. So it begins. We'll see how your skirmish tactics work uh, when the lines close, huh? Apollo? Wow. Looks like their morale took a bit of a hit there. Another crossbow bolt. Osmond King kills. Nice. Now that these guys are open, Bane. Bane. Come on, Bane. You're trying to teach these guys how to shoot, and that's that's what you do. 
Bane, Double Ghost, McGee, not, not having it today. Now they're gonna just throw more garbage at us. God. Their morale is not, not doing so good after that couple of uh, arrows and crossbows. Good, they're out of their stupid crap to throw at us. Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's step up on him. No. <laughs> Not so fresh now, are we? Let's take some shots back there with Bane. Come on, Bane. There we go. Reeve? Let's pass. Apollo? 54, 33. I don't like that guy on the high ground. There we go. Step down on these fellas. Ozpin Kane, reload. 50%? Nope. Let's get on this guy with Night Warden. Sir Chubrank. Let's just step down and join the fight. On Cohen. Just make sure that we kind of hold the line here. Damn it. Let's step into the gate and hit that guy. Bobbins kills him. I was hoping Bobbins would really mess him up so that Reeve can get the kill, but we'll take what we can get. Let's get Bobbins in there. Mortimer? Nope. Let's get Song up on the high ground, mostly to, I don't know, mostly to do that. Reeve? Nope. Dando? 49-54. Ooh. Night work, just battle. Chewbrack. Let's go here with Von Cohen, just total coverage. Hey. None of that. They're going after Osman Kane, of course. It's just an easy target, I suppose. Once he gets anticipation, all that's gonna go away. Iggy? Step in. Good hit. Bane. Let's keep getting rid of these archers so that Ozpin can murder people in peace. Mortimer. Nice. Doesn't kill him. Apollo, arrows downtown in the back. Nope, not quite what I wanted. Dando. Ooh, what is that? Cut Achilles tendon. I doubt that's very comfortable. Let's... Split. Nice. I didn't want that guy taking any more shots, Bobbins. No. Reeve gets a kill. Reeve's first kill, I think. Well, if you ignore the zombies. 37% with Song. Nope. Let's reload with Ozpin. 54, 42. Let's go after him. Hey! Headshot! Sir Chewbrack? No. Night Ward. Let's just step in and stand there. Let Sir Chubrat get the kills. Basically, we're just working on that outnumber bonus. Iggy. Nice. Let's get Mortimer in there. Oop, breaks him. Dando's just standing around. Bin, no survivors. Breaks all these guys. Song. That's a kill. Let's just get Reeve all the way in there to see if we can get that fleeing kill. Sir Chubrak, 51% murders. Reload with Ozpin. There's not much we can do. Let's 
Let's position Dando and Bane and all our guys. If this guy gets away from Reeve or Mortem Mortimer, I want to be ready, so... You know, no survivors. Oh. Uh, Iggy? Good hit. Let's wait with Mortimer. Let's get Dano in there and hopefully set it up so that Reeve can get the kill. Very good. Apollo? Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's see if Song can get it. And she does. Reeve and Sir Chubrak both gain levels. That's the whole point of this exercise. Exercise, so good. Nice. Just sort of junk. These brigands are attacking a trading caravan. Some thugs, stuff like that. Okay. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here first. Sir Chubrak, plus four melee defense, plus five fatigue. Holy crap. He, def he definitely needs the resolve, and we're never ever going to get that melee skill to something respectable, so let's go with the resolve. Uh, underdog, yes. We need to have underdog. That fatigue is going to be out of this world. Reeve. Plus four, plus three, and plus four. Oh, wow. Those are all very good numbers. I'm kind of leading towards student. That's what we were supposed to do with Ozpin, wasn't it? But we're so close to taking Anticipation, which is going to lock him in for just extended training without none of this nonsense going on. Maybe after Anticipation we can take Student. I know it has like diminishing returns, but still it gives, it would make the, the last seven levels a little bit more comfortable. But survivability is just extremely important to me. Mostly because I don't like to see, you know, people who are invested in these characters just have their characters die before they can live, you know? And I know it's Battle Brothers, it's definitely gonna happen. We've, we've lost some people so far, but I try and minimize it, really. I don't know if I want to move in and save the trading caravan because it's going to be one long, annoying battle if we do that. Oh, ho, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What are we looking at here? We've got lots of marksmen and multiple leaders coming down on us. That would be a really epic battle. I don't, I, do we want to do that? I don't think we want to do that. Not, not in those numbers. That's definitely, even though we're a really strong company, all those, that many marksmen can do some serious damage. There are ghouls out here too. Just had the Schneeberg. They're probably right behind us, so we're gonna have to go through the mountains to get out. Demonic statue. No, we're not, not doing that. Let's just move on. Just. Trigger happy there. Finally, we're going to be able to head south to Force Fest and all that. See what they're doing on over here. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Hedge Knight yet. Alright, well, it would be nice to see a Hedge Knight, wouldn't it? Yeah. Force Fest. We're here. No work for us. Hmm. They maybe they remember kind of. They've seen us around here before. Weaponsmith. Armor. Hmm. Doesn't look like they have anything exciting for us here. Marketplace. Let's buy some tools. Arrows are excellently priced. Let's buy a bunch of those. And some grains, I suppose, how to do the trick. Oh, a dog. Let's get a doggo. Random dog. Wow, a raider. Raiders are good, aren't they? For that kind of money, I think that's a good spend. Oh, he's dumb. And he's a brute.
And his fatigue is very subpar. The Brute is really holding them back, but... The Brute and the... And the fatigue situation. And two bad traits. Melee skills okay. Imagine if he imagine if he didn't have the brute. Oh god, plus two fatigue on the first roll. That would be sixty-four melee skill if it wasn't for brute. And I think if he had if he had that. I think it might be worth considering the fatigue, but that's really bad fatigue. I think we're just gonna hard pass that. Uh, let's just get rid of all this garbage. Yeah, it's not worth saving all this raider crap for a sale. Although, it, we're, you know, it's good money here. Well, all we got was tools out of here, but... You know, what, what about the training hall? What does this do for us? Plus 40% experience for 2 to 3 days. 4 to 6 days. 6 to 8 days. Hmm. Some of these guys, that's pretty expensive. For Reeve, that wow, that's a really good deal. You know, we have a lot of money. Maybe we should do this. Plus 40% experience for two to three days. I've never visited this thing because on our last campaign we played with the like the really hard money set in and we we couldn't afford to do anything really, other than get buy food. This seems kind of neat. 20%, 6 to 8 days. This seems like a good balanced... A good balanced, uh... Choice? Why don't we do that? Ozpin? Sure. That's... I don't know if, if I want to do that. That's a bit expensive. Two to three days. The sparring fight is pretty cheap, though. Why don't we do that? Sure. We'll just, you know, it's fun, I guess, to try new stuff out now and then. Okay, uh, there's no work, right? Yeah, no work. Let's keep going. Ultimately, I wouldn't mind just coming down here and buying dogs. Speaking of dogs. Let's equip that one. Fine, go down to Mirawake. Eventually we're going to have to cross this river. F or ford the river, cross the mountains. Bury some people of dysentery on the way, probably. Ooh, fishermen here? That means nets. Let's buy up the nets. Let's buy more tools. Let's buy some fish. Let's equip the nets before I forget. Horace, sure. <laughs> I think our crossbows usually carry some nets because they don't really have the fatigue to do anything else, so that'll work for now. What's this job? A brigand, possibly in league with other vagabonds, manages to hear my rare, oh, rare coins again. We're not. What? Do they. It's because of our relations, probably, that no one wants to give us a good uh, mission, maybe? Is that what's going on? Gelbwall. Nope. Nothing exciting here. Just some guy. Marketplace. Wow, the arrows here are very cheap. Nothing's going on here as well. Just nothing. Just nothing going on. Just nothing at all. Since I was looking at it, let's repair this stuff up so we can sell it next time. Or mostly because we have nothing else to repair, so. On to Seaware. We gotta visit that kennel. 
I guess one place we can explore out of his new land. Check out the mountains and stuff from over there. We'll see. We'll take a boat over there. Let's hang out. The kennel, anyone to hire? Retired soldiers are pretty bad. I don't think I want to deal with that. More nets. Let's just, let's buy all the nets. We used up a lot in that war. Let's hand them out before I forget. Why don't we give one to Reeve? Why not Iggy? Ozpin? Why not Song? Could use a net. Tommy's good, Horace. Nice, okay, everyone's got nets. Do we have a spare? Two spares. Did we check this? Yeah, we did. Time to get some doggos. Sure. Let's start handing them out. Nice. Okay. We're dogged up. Uh, you know, this episode is kind of just relaxing. We're just running errands. Seeing the people. Finding out that no one wants to deal with us. We're probably rather infamous right now for being 12 guys that waylay 30 man groups on the road and kill all of them. Let's go to New Land. You probably don't. Probably not quick to uh, trust us. This place is a mess. Wilderick, let's try him. Let's try this militia guy. Nope. Militia guy. Oh. Hmm. He looked cool for a second. That's This is a really goofy skill layout. What's that melee defense? Seven. Hmm. That's a pretty good melee skill. It's gotta be said. Decent starting fatigue. His resolve is just one or two picks away from fine. It bothers me that he has stars and ranged and ranged defense. I don't know what we would really do with that. Just ignore it, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we can afford to be extremely picky, but then again, people want, want characters. So I guess you guys can let me know in the comments. Do you, are you happy with just, you know, He's okay, but I feel like we should just go for the awesome guys, because those guys really shine, don't they? I don't know. All he has to do is just flub melee defense every level, and then he's trash. That's why I don't... I like at least one star in something I'm going to be putting points in, because... You know, you spend 200 days leveling a bro, and then at the end you're like, well, he's... he's terrible. Or he's gonna just die really quickly. It would still, if you flipped every level, it would still be, well, it would be 18 at minimum. But at average, if it was like two every level, it would be like, you know, 29. I guess it's not too bad. Most of our brothers also have 29, but they didn't, uh, like Von Cohen didn't start with any extra stars. So that, or with, with a seven default, I don't think. So that's one good thing that he has on him. I don't, we'll, maybe we'll just drag him around. We'll drag him around for now. Maybe we'll end up using him. Maybe we'll end up using him. Let's see here. Uh, we've got, oh, oh, oh I thought Olfurt the Burgermeister was the bad guy here. Large group of brigands is about to attack the town. 2,870 crowns on completion. That might be worth it. 
Delivery? Deliver car... Oh, deliver cargo to Hagermoos in the northwest. Where's Hagermoos? Far, isn't it? All the way up there. We could take a boat straight to Sankai and then deliver it instantly. So we could take this... We could take the raider job. Finish that, and then we could take the cargo and just sail all the way north and deliver that quickly. That would be good for our reputation. Do that many jobs rapid fire. Why don't we take it? Live, uh, defend new land. Okay. We've got the tools. Maybe they'll bring with them a uh, hedge knight. Brigands are in sight. Oh no! Alright, they have to ford the river. Hey! There he is! A hedge knight! I think we'll probably extend the length of this episode so we can do this battle. Some marksmen, lots of raiders, and a hedge knight. Ooh. Let's review our company here. If we're going to go up against a hedge knight... I want to have some brothers to train in here. But we're going to be maybe doing back-to-back -back battles. And so I don't want to get someone killed because I'm trying to squeeze in lots of training, you know? This many bows and crossbows should should be able to easily thin out the ranks so that we could take on the hedge knight in peace. Because these hedge knights, they're not anything to screw with. We have one knight, or one net. Let's give another one to Song. Yeah, we have a lot of nets. I'm pretty sure hedge knights can definitely carry special weapons into a fight. That's, oops. And there's another pack right behind him. So I don't want to engage. I don't want to get two of us beat up fighting the first company because we have too many new bros. Want to? Ooh, he's got a special sword. That's that's definitely a special sword of some kind. He's wearing a full full helm and ooh, ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm excited. Okay, we've got some annoying marksmen in the back. Let's pass, see if they come at us. No, they don't. Okay. Oh! And there's a pack right behind him. What if that group also has a hedge knight? Glad, finally, we, we see one. Ozpin King, 55, 55, 55. Hmm. He's not wearing a helmet, really. Oh, ouch! We've got our training experience and everything, too. Of course, is he the only one that has it? No, oh, it's Sir Chubrak does, too. But sadly, our two training melee brothers had to be left behind, but, you know, two out of four is pretty good. Tommy, 87%. I don't like that hammer. Get that thing out of here. And we'll just take some main shots downtown with the archers to thin out that herd. What do you get? Pierced leg muscles. Beautiful. The hedge knight sticks around. I want him to get in combat with us. I'm, I'm almost certain that is a special weapon. I can't see the, the hilt. That looks like a special noble sword to me. Bane? Just take this guy out. Nope. Now that they're getting closer, we're gonna really put the hurt to them. 
<laughs> this guy is hiding behind a bush and shield dwelling. Yeah. They know who we are. <laughs> they know who the unbeholden are. Yeah, see? I knew it. That's a special weapon. That is a special weapon. Why don't we just... The opportunity is too great. Dando, step in, split. Yep. That's Tommy right there. He'll be all right. Let's wait for the rest of these guys. Oh, seriously? This guy comes in and does 120 damage with a with a mid-tier hammer? Are you kidding? 120 damage? Even when we had Leonard last episode with a level 3 hammer, he, he couldn't do that much armor damage. This is... that really, really annoys me. Amazing. Okay. Tommy downtown. Ozpin's taking a couple shots there. He's alright. I don't like that he's wavering though. Apollo. This guy's in the open. Huh. Let's wait with Varander. Let's wait with Bobbins. Wait with Mortimer. Hope that hope this guy closes in on us. I don't want to kill so many of these guys that he gets to run away without us catching him. Bane, this guy's in the open now. Come on, guys. There we go. Ozpin, 41%. Whiffs it. And Song, I want to rally just to get Ozpin King. No. Alright. Hmm. Just leave Nightwerg where he is. There he goes. The Hedge Knight comes in with his super shiny sword. Dando, another split. Oh, why can we not kill their marksman? It's not happening. Von Cohen, split, kills one. Let's step in. Step in with Vorander here. Although that exposes Ozpin to fire. I think Vorander's going to have to stay there and kind of shield him. Although I could have stepped down with Bobbins, but... Yeah, that Hedge Knight's coming for us. Ooh, I'm excited. Bobbins, hurt that guy. Mortimer. Yeah, let's just immediately go and hold him down, because this guy's got throwing weapons. Step in here with Song. Nightward. Guess we'll stand here with Nightward. Oh my gosh. So annoying. Ozpin's got a wound, yeah. These ugh. marksmen are so annoying. Well, now you know I don't take students so early with our ranged brothers. It's just, here it comes. Ugh. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. No amount of student. It keeps you on the battlefield so you can get kills before you have to run away screaming. Full of bolts in your face. Tommy. Let's take this guy out. Seriously? Bane? There we go. Good god. Warrender's gonna have to wait a little while. This guy's coming in. Apollo. Well, that did something to their morale. Mortimer, can we fight this guy? Bobbins, 58%. Hmm. Let's just finish these guys off. Sir Chubrak, let's step in with him. Oh, wow! Sir Chubrak, really scaring the pants off these guys. Ozpin. 
Wow, Auspit is suddenly not under threat at all. All their hunters are leaving. Well, let's just get a bolt in there. If, if it hits anyone, it's going to kill them. No, because we have a pierced hand now, right? Yeah, of course. Song, step in. Dando. I don't like, I don't want their ranged guys to rally and then get shots on us. I just, I don't want that to happen. Orander. Yep. Oh no, they're setting that guy up to get away. Tommy. Where'd he go? There he is. Tommy. Misses. Mortimer. Come on, no survivors. <laughs> I just, I can't allow it. It cannot be allowed that these guys get away. Bobbins. Okay, let's start getting Vorander up here. Let's start getting Night Warg this way. Song gets a kill. Move in. Sir Chubank. Roughs that guy up a little bit. Ooh. That, that sword did some serious damage there, didn't it? Ozpin, 40%. Whiffs it. He's too tired to do anything now. Great, now that he's got a pierced hand, we're not going to be able to train him in these in these upcoming battles. Annoying. Dando! Recover! On Cohen! Recover! <laughs> these guys try and get away. Oh, it's definitely not working for them. Tommy, stand by. Orander. He's got a full plate, or a full helm and scale, and since he's carrying a one-handed sword, he's not, like, a super big threat. So I think we're going to try and get in there and dagger him down. Apollo in there. Mortimer. Let's keep working on this guy. Yeah, they're just, like, Flailing at each other like like women or something. Nice, they're dead. Uh, song, got him. Ospin, can we clip? Oh, five percent. Let's get closer. On Cohen, uh, in here. Looks like Tommy's just gonna be hanging out. Tommy. Uh, Dando. Ugh. Oh. Let's get the axe out with Bane. We need to break his shield. I don't want to spend a net on a hedge knight. That's not really a threat. Boy, how did Forander take so much damn damage? 34%. No. Night word. Hollow. X. Take a step. A lot of these fellas in super parry mode. Mortimer, why don't we just switch to our knife? Get him. <laughs> Song. Wow, Song gets him, 38%. Step in with Von Cohen. Get out our knife. Oh yeah, this guy's not getting anywhere, and we're going to find out what kind of weapon he has. Is there a chance that you don't get a weapon? Does anyone know? Kind of like, you know, if... Sometimes you just don't get their helmet or armor. Is it the same same thing? Forty seven percent. Let's let's just wait. Pain's getting in there. Dando's in there. Yeah, this guy's not going anywhere now. Hobbins. Night word. What a terrible situation to be in. Dando! Start working on that. After he goes, maybe he won't be parrying and we'll be able to just lay into him really hard. We'll see. <clears throat> Ouch. Boy, that sword does some serious armor damage. Oh yeah, here we come. 
Where am I? Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's had enough. And there he goes. Ozpin for his trouble. He gets a pierced hand, but he also gains a level. The Hedge Knight Slicer, 57 to 64 damage. That definitely seems like something that it almost broke. How did it almost break? Huh. I think it's good though. I think it's good. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, first, let's take Ozpin's level, because I love taking levels. Plus four, excellent. Plus three, super, super excellent. And a plus three, decent. Let's definitely take Anticipation. I'm sick of getting shot at. Fifty-seven to sixty-four. Forty-five to fifty. Wow, that is a serious increase in the raw damage. That is a very serious increase in the raw damage. Who gets it? Is the question. Night Warg and Mortimer both have the exact same melee skill. <laughs> what about Sir Tubrek? Uh, where is he? Sir Chubrak can't, he couldn't hit anything if he really, really tried. Still wouldn't be able to hit him. I mean, really, uh, really though. Maybe, what's the fatigue cost? Eight? Eight? Yeah, it's about the same. Chance to hit head, eight more percent. This is just an excellent weapon. Just a huge damage increase. We can't use it now. I don't want to bring it into battle and have it break. Let's start repairing it, but I think we're going to give it to Mortimer. Mortimer is more fatigued to just swing away. It, it's very tempting to make like a duelist who could use this thing, but every time I've tried to make a duelist, it's just terrible and I never want to field them. So we'll have to find other. I mean, we can make like a heavily armored duelist, but still, uh, I don't know. It's, just, it's a great weapon though, I think. Seems like it. Why not? And it looks very cool. Let's definitely say that. Another coat of scales, huh? Ooh. That's kind of heavy. Reeve? Reeve probably can't wear that. Although, he, he can simply because... All you do with a pike is stick stuff, but I think we'll do it on Iggy now, because Iggy's higher level and we're going to be working on getting him on the front line sooner. Well, you know, Ozpin is still serviceable, I think. No, not with that health, even though he has the anticipation now. It's too much of a risk. Anticipation and 15 range defense is going to make it much, much, much more comfortable to do these next battles. We can get Iggy in there now. Two to five days, one to two days. Yeah, we got to make that count a little bit more. Eighteen more. Some marksmen, lots of raiders, and a brigand leader. We're going to have to save that for next episode, guys. We have a brand new super fancy sword. It's, it just shows promise, I think, is what it really does. 57, that's a huge increase in damage. Where's our, well, we're still using our Noble Sword, but that's 12 more minimum damage. And 14 more maximum, that's just huge. For a one-handed weapon, no wonder he was doing like pretty awesome damage to Vorander. We're gonna have to do it, uh, yeah. Anyone else take a bunch of shots? Most everyone else is okay. But yeah, that's uh, it's a good weapon. So, I'm happy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.